most people are walking around stressed and I get it, modern day society is not easy but most of the time we're stressing over things that are way out of our control and I hope that these eight comfortable truths help you to de-stress. Just over one year ago now, I didn't realise that my physical symptoms meant that I was chronically stressed, losing my period, suffering with really bad acne, gaining weight, and not seeing progress in the gym was all down to the stress that I was putting on my body that I didn't even realise. My love, stress is a disease and it's slowly, slowly killing you. And if you are into health, well-being, biohacking, the first thing I want you to address is your stress levels. Now I hope that doesn't stress you out, but I hope it actually empowers you. Now let's get unstressed. You have your health. If you're watching this video right now, you're on YouTube, you have Wi-Fi, you, ac you have access to social media, you're well enough to hear this, to hopefully watch this, to listen to me and to take this advice. You have your health. You are healthy and you have the ability to do things in life and that is a blessing in itself. Whenever I'm stressed about something, I remember that I'm healthy, I got to the gym today, I was able to walk today, I was able to lift something up today, everything works and I'm so grateful for that. If you have that, that's one reason why you shouldn't stress. If you're stressed about your physical progress, if you're stressed about your body image, if you're stressed about your workouts, your health, your eating, remember that you are healthy, you are watching this right now and you have everything you need. You have every single thing you need to get to your goals. Inner strength is something that everybody has. I'm sure you've had a time that you felt like you just could not get through, you didn't have the strength, and what did you do? You got through it alive, and you got through it pretty damn well. I remember when I had to move away from home at age 18, I did not think that I would see it through, but I did. Somehow I saw it through, somehow I survived. If you've been, maybe you've had an experience where you have genuinely thought you weren't going to survive, but guess what? You're here now. That inner strength came from somewhere and you have it inside of you. Everything is always changing, the good and the bad. Whether you're in a very happy period, whether you're in your summer right now and things are looking good, things are looking up, that will also change. Everything is impermanent. If you're in a dark period right now, if you are struggling to get by, if you think that there is no way you're going to get out and you've never been this low before, everything changes. So soak it in while you are where you are. Learn from where you are right now because soon you won't be there. You won't be there. And it can be kind of sad when you're having such a fun time in life, but it's also really relieving when you're not going through the best time because you know that you will get out of it. And you'll get out of it alive, you'll get out of it stronger than you have ever, ever been before. Money comes and goes. Finances are one of the leading causes of stress in today's society and I feel it. Whenever I'm stressed, I reflect on why I'm stressed, it always comes down to money. It always comes down to this feeling of my money is going. My money is going to disappear and if my money disappears, I'm screwed. Since this has been the leading factor of my stress, I've had to work on my money mindset, I've had to work on managing my money and I've had to let some things go. I constantly remind myself that money is flowing to me and money is flowing from me. Money likes to be spent. Money is just something that is an exchange for value and this puts me at ease. If the leading cause of your stress right now is because you are running out of money, you don't have money to spend and you're stressed, then here are a few things that will help you. The first thing that I started to focus on was building myself a buffer and a consistent income stream. These are two things that will relieve a lot of your stress, but they're also not gonna come overnight. You're not going to have three to six months of savings by tomorrow if you've just decided that you want three to six months of savings right now. So accept the fact that it's going to happen over time. Get your buffer and your savings sorted as well as a consistent income stream. Now, if you're incredibly stressed about money and you're running your own business and the income is scarce, you either change your mindset around it and you start to operate in a different way so that your money becomes consistently so that you're not stressing yourself out every single day or you get a part-time. 
Two years ago, I got a part-time job in a cafe so that I didn't have to deal with the stress. I didn't want to ask my parents for money. I didn't want to deal with having to force money into my life every month. So I got a part-time job which relieved some of my financial stress. This was the best decision I ever made. So if it come, so if it happens that you have to do something like that and let down your ego, then let that ego down and save yourself the stress. Because stress is killing you. Letting your ego down is not killing you. If I don't have the money and I really want to do an experience or I really want to buy myself something, I use that to fuel myself. I use that to say, okay, well, I need to make more money because I am not living the life that I really want right now. But I never spend what I don't have. Because as soon as you start spending what you don't have, you get in that roller coaster of spending what you don't have and it's very, very easy to do that. Track your finances. Not fun, but so empowering. Every single week or every two weeks, I track my finances. I go through all of my bank transfers and I type them into a spreadsheet. It's so, so tedious. Like, honestly, it's so tedious. But at the end of that, I'm always clear on how much money is coming in, how much money is going out, what I can do better, how much I have. And it's so empowering to know that. I actually decided to do this when I got a fine at the beginning of the year and it really, really destroyed my money, like my confidence around money. It destroyed everything. And then I started to track my finances finally after saying I was going to do it and never doing it. If you struggle with money mindset I'm gonna leave some money mantras on the screen right now for you to screenshot and start saying to yourself. The number one stress in America is the workplace and all I have to say about this is that if your job is stressing you out that much that you are causing yourself physical symptoms then get a new job. You can get a new job. Believe that you can. Believe that you are worthy of a new better job that's not going to cause you stress start searching for it start asking around start being open to opportunities and bring the power back to you does everything happen for a reason or does shit just happen sometimes i like to think that everything happens for a reason but other times i accept that things happen shit things happen and that's fine and it just is and sometimes there is no reason why and you can try and think of all the reasons why this could have happened and nothing makes sense and that's okay some things just happen and we just have to accept that things happen and it doesn't have to always be for a reason accepting this will give you freedom because you'll stop looking for answers you will stop stressing about why that happened to you why that happened to that person why that's not happening to you because you will learn to accept that if some things happen yes and you can say it's the universe you can say it's god but other times things just happen and there's no explanation. Dolphins have names for each other and trees talk to each other. Nature has the answers and nature is beautiful and nature is not stress. Nature is anything but stress. These two facts I thought were just so cute and I had to share them with you because knowing that dolphins literally have names for each other and trees literally communicate with each other that makes me happy and I don't feel stressed when I think about nature. I don't feel stressed when I'm walking, when I'm outside and when I am connecting with, with those trees that are talking to each other from underground. How freaking clever are they? It's been proven time and time again over centuries that humans get what we believe that we deserve. If you don't believe that you deserve financial freedom, happiness, success, abundance, a beautiful family, love, then you might not get that. So start working on your self-worth and stop stressing about whether these things will happen or will not happen. The more you give, the more that you get. What can you give to have more of? How can you give love to people in order to receive more love? How can you give compassion? How can you give money in ways that you know aren't silly, but how can you give more and feel more abundant with everything that you have in order to get more in return because when I learned this I began to stress less and focus on what I'm doing and what I can control and how much I am actually giving. I hope these eight comforting truths manage to de-stress you and put you at ease. And if you want to, make time to stress. Put time into your calendar where you can stress and you can worry about things. And outside of that time, you're not stressing, you're not worrying because you put it in that space, space in your calendar. So for example, on a Sunday afternoon, if you want to give yourself 30 minutes to actually stress and actually worry about things, do it. That's when you can feel all the emotions. That's when you can feel scared. But other than, but outside of that, stop stressing and just take action because stagnation causes even more stress. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my newsletter below. Have a beautiful day, week, month, life. Bye.